this password manager is available for all devices which includes your browser extension the only thing you have to do is go to the play store and of course click on the search icon then above here and type proton pass like you can see here after doing this you only have to install this application right here there you go by installing it you're actually installing the most secure password manager there is and i'm actually going to tell you why or we can ask ChatGPT. yes proton is generally considered a safe company it's known for strong focus on privacy and security especially with services like proton mail and proton vpn if we go to the website proton.me we will see a better internet start with privacy and freedom you will see email vpn cloud storage password manager calendar and wallet and the wallet is actually only your crypto wallet by the way here we have the password manager of proton which is actually the most secure password manager you can use and even better it's supported on every single device you just have to sign in by making an account of course i already have one but it's a very simple process go to proton.me and right above you will actually see create a free account after doing this it is going to prompt you with a subscription which you don't have to take the only thing you have to do is to click on proton free on the left side there you go and now we can actually get another pop-up but go to continue with proton free and i'm promising you this is pretty much the best mail app and everything like that for security reasons here we, we only have to enter a username we can actually change the uh, domain name of the email address which is great if you want to do proton mail and that's actually what i've done you can easily do that by entering your own name and then last name doesn't really matter um, it is secure the only thing you have to do is note this down so make sure you have a system to note this down i recommend having either a notebook or noting it down on your phone you have to enter password then repeat again and then create your account then you have to log in and after logging in you should probably see something like this not for the first time but these are the applications they are providing we want to go to proton pass which is actually the password manager i just have to enter my password here and it's already continuing there you go i'm already logged in and that's because right above i have proton pass in my opera gx the only thing you have to type is proton pass and then chrome extension and it also has support for firefox by the way and you can easily install it here by clicking on install by adding it to your own browser i'm just going to add it to my opera and then add extension right here after doing that it's going to give you this pop-up the only thing you have to do is to pin it to the toolbar or just stop and don't continue pinning i'm just going to pin it by going right above that's usually where it is and then pin proton pass right here after doing that it is easily accessible and you just have to log in with your proton account again if you're already logged in with proton me it means that you can already continue like this very easy well now it's ready to use this means that right above if you click on it you can see all the passwords and even the recent one you have used after clicking on it and then for example clicking on the eyeball here or just clicking once here and it will save your password to the clipboard here you can actually easily log in and get onto the account this is the website you can easily add your own right above there are many settings you can tweak using it in a browser is very simple if you go to proton pass right here you can easily log in just like this and it's the same ui but it is a lot bigger there you go just open it on your phone and it should pretty much be the same you've already made an account so that's very easy just click here on sign in after doing this of course it is going to ask for a username and then your password then just sign in. Do remember that you have to log in with the protonmail.me or actually the other one you have chosen. And make sure you note this down, it's very important. I actually think it was protonmail.com, but it doesn't really matter. Just note it down correctly. I have a note it down, but it's, just an, it's an example. I have my app even smarter set up, actually my account, and it's a two-factor authentication, which I'm also going to make a video about, which is the best authentication app. And no, it is not Google Authentication, and it is definitely not Microsoft Authenticator. Trust me on that one. Upcoming video. It should actually go here, and there you go. Auto fill with Proton Pass. This is what we want to enable. It has great time focusing. <laughs> oh my god. There you go. Just click here on Auto fill with Proton Pass and select it right here. 
Of course, it's going to be different on every single um, Android device or iOS device, but just follow the steps they're giving you there. I'm just going to accept that ProtonPass is going to be my password manager on my phone, if I can click on it, thank you. And now it is protecting my most sensitive data, which is actually your password. So we need a biometric lock. It says that here, it's probably uplink the brightness for no reason, but here you go, enable fingerprint lock. You definitely want to do this. There you go, doing my fingerprint. And now it should display this. So now we want to start using ProtonPass. It's exactly the same displayed. Here is where you can search. These are all your accounts. And here above below, you can actually, you can actually easily add more IDs and everything. Here you go, login, atlas, credit card, note, password, identity, everything you just want to add in your secure folds. For the rest, there are many things at Proton.me, the website, the whole company is actually offering, but I think this is the best password manager I can recommend. I've been using it for at least three months and not regretting it because I've been forgetting my password many times, especially because I've been making more channels and therefore posting more content. I'm actually trying to upload every single day here because I want to teach you more how to do these kind of techy things and now my setup is a lot better, it's easy to record and everything like that. I'll see you in the next one, please consider liking so I know that I'm doing a good job. Just like you are for installing Proton Pass. Make yourself secure and don't share any data with anyone, I don't know what to say. <laughs> Adios.